What's up guys, it's Lou from Unbox Therapy and the purpose for this video is to give you guys an idea of some of the tips and tricks that can help you become a better user in Google Plus. Google Plus being Google's new social network. Now a lot of people by this point have tried other social networks and have probably gotten used to how things work and function within them. Google Plus being new is a little bit different but not too complicated and after you've watched this video you're probably going to feel a lot better about using it on a daily basis. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. The first and maybe most important tip that I wrote down here is how to mention people. Now this is important because that's what you're constantly doing is interacting with others, hence the title social network. So the way to do this in Google Plus is different from Twitter. You know, in Twitter you use an at symbol. On Google Plus you're going to use a plus symbol. What a surprise, how cute. So you start with a plus symbol and then begin to type the user's name that you want to mention or, or reply to in a comment section, for example. And if they're in your circle, they probably come up even before you're finished uh, typing their name. At that point, you type your message and they receive a notification from there that you have mentioned them or replied to them. Super simple, easy to do. I'm happy that you know now that people can start doing it properly because to this point, people have been all over the place, at least in my network. The next thing I want to mention is the ability to edit posts. This is unique to Google+. Other networks did not have the ability to do this up until this point. And this is important because you might type a long post and then not want to go back, you know, delete it and rewrite it if there's an error. This way you can go in, fix the error, and then leave the post up. Or in my case, delete it because maybe it's a dumb post to begin with. So you can do anything like that from this little drop down menu. And uh, I personally think it's an awesome feature. I really wish the other networks had it as well. The next thing I want to talk about is private messages. Now, a lot of people have asked, how do I private message? Um, they're used to the way it's done on Facebook or Twitter. And this one is a little bit more complicated. I think Google needs to fix this. But at the moment, it's the only way that it can be done. Uh, some are calling it a hack. But, I mean, it's not too hard to do. I wouldn't, I wouldn't go so far as to call it a hack. So what you want to do is you want to uh, share a post the way you normally would. Identify the individual that you want to send the message to or mention in the post. Um, but you don't want to share it publicly and you don't want to share it with your other circles. So make sure that they're just selected. From there, you want to share the post. And then after the post is shared, if you select the drop-down menu from there, then you can select to not make it shareable from that point. So that will sort of close off the post. It'll leave it there dead. The only person who can access it is the one that you originally mentioned. So that's a way of keeping a message private until Google does something other than this system for private messages. The next thing that I want to talk about is how to turn off circle sharing. This is something that I did after a bunch of people started <laughs> adding my family members and whatnot to their circles. So you can do that very easily by clicking over here underneath the um, your image, your profile image, and you can turn off um, either the sharing of the circles that you're in or the people that have you in circles or the, or the other way around, whatever the hell I'm saying. This whole circle system <laughs> is a little bit mind-boggling. No, not really. But anyways, yeah, you can make certain aspects of circle sharing private from that window there. Um, the next thing I want to mention is how to get a more attractive URL for your Google Plus profile. At the moment, it is a long string of numbers and numeric profiles <laughs> are cool. They're just not cool anymore. So what you want to do is go to a website called G Plus TO. Of course, you could go to any URL shortening website, but this one's a little bit cooler and cleaner and specific to Google Plus. So you want to go to G Plus TO. And from there, you want to put in your string of numbers that currently identifies you along with your desired nickname. And then from there, that'll give you a public location that's a little bit cleaner when you're sharing that profile elsewhere in emails or on places like YouTube, etc. Because as we know, those big, huge URLs are not very attractive and nobody wants to click them. Nobody wants to click an unattractive URL. So I think I've got one more thing to mention. Yes, that is the ability to format posts. You can do things like put words in bold or italic. And this is kind of cool just to maybe have your post stand out over other things or other posts that are in people's news feeds, you know. And this is very simple to do. I'll give you an example using the word bold here. 
Um, all you've got to do is put stars on each side of the word bold and boom, it's going to come out bold. So that's cool. Um, uh, a very basic feature. I, I don't know how many people are going to take advantage of it, but good to know nonetheless. Anyway, guys, I hope these tips and tricks uh, help you in your transition from those other social networks. And if you haven't jumped on Google Plus yet, then I'm going to put an invite link down in the description of this video. So hopefully you come over there. If you have any trouble with that link or if the link runs out of invites, then hit me inside my inbox here on YouTube or email me or whatever you want to do. And I'll try my best to get you over there. I'm excited about this social network. It's going to be a big player. And I think everybody should get a head start on just how to use it. So once it goes public and everyone comes over, you're ready to go. Anyway, guys, until next time, thanks for watching. And if you enjoyed this content, hopefully you'll hit that subscribe button up there. See you guys.